Hey fam. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Friday. What's up, fam? Happy Friday, happy Friday. Good morning, my sister. Good morning. Sharon, good morning, baby girl. Good morning, MJ. And my other babies. Don't forget those other babies. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know we do the other babies wrong. Just love on the, on the baby baby, but we got to remember the other babies. So good morning to all my babies, all my glam babies this morning. That's at the Mosley and the Barnett house. Um, kids can come on Saturday, sure. Kids can come. Um, mamas just may have to sit kids in the laps if it I don't know if it gets a little crowded but yes families are welcome bring the churns you got to bring the churns bring them honey while we're talking let me make mention of tomorrow I cannot even express how super excited and nervous all at the same time that I am I'm excited and I'm nervous it's like I got bubbles. I mean, just, oh, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited about tomorrow, um, a time of praise and worship to end my birthday week. So I'm super excited. I hope you'll join me tomorrow. If you're not far from the Orlando area, listen, get in that car and come on to Orlando, honey. Bring it on. We're going to be having the gathering experience. Thank you, baby girl. Tomorrow at 630, I will um, repost the flyer on my page and in heart to heart. Just as a reminder um, to my YouTube family, I would love it if you could make it. It would be so awesome to meet, to meet you all. Listen, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I need you to do that. Listen, I am trying. I have a goal. I need you all to help me to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. By December 31st, 2022. Can y'all please help me to get 1,000 subscribers? I think I'm a little under 200. I got, I, I got a little bit to go. But I believe with your help, I'm telling you, all you got to do is take the link and say subscribe to this page. If you have three, four, five Gmail accounts, Yahoo, whoever you got, listen, because I got about six of them for different reasons and can't hardly keep up with one. Bless the Lord. Uh, sign, subscribe on all of them. Just go, just switch your, switch your titles and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Many people always say, well, how can I help you? How can you help a person um, in their business, in their ministry, uh, with something that they that they do for the public? Tell people. <laughs> tell people. You just tell people. And 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 listen. I mean, all it takes is a click. Listen, y'all click on people. Y'all click on Beyonce, baby. And Beyonce can't do nothing for you, but help you ring that tail. Ring that tail, ring that tail. Well, anyway, <laughs> it's Friday, and it ain't it. And this is T, by the way. 
I'm not going to act up today. Maybe. Maybe just a little. I don't know. I'm in the mood to act up. I'm going to tell you right now. Let me warn you. I'm in the mood to act up. Sean, it is. It's what I say. Don't, don't correct me. It's my song. Whatever. That's all Beyonce want to do is ring her tail. That's what I'm saying. I know ring my bell to somebody else. Your children always try to come for you. And they likes to do it in public. I guess because we used to tear their behinds up in public or whatever. But anyway, don't come for me. Because I did not send for you. I don't care if you're my daughter. Don't come for me because I will. It ain't your day today. <laughs> don't do it. Don't. I'm 50 and I don't care no more. <laughs> Baby, something happened to you when you get 50. Now, I felt a little... You know, you know, edgy when I turn 40, but 50, baby, 50 be like, boo, I don't care. Sit down. <laughs> baby, baby, you get bold like a lion when you hit 50. I'm telling you, this 50 doesn't mm -hmm. Moving right along. Um, So, Jesus loves you. Let's pray. Let me get focused. Let's pray. Because y'all done had me cutting up for the last, what, six minutes. Just unnecessarily. God, we thank you for this amazing day that you have made. You're awesome. You're wonderful. You, And as a matter of fact, I'm still celebrating my birthday. I'm celebrating it for the rest of 2022. As a matter of fact, I'm celebrating it for the next 360 now, three, four, three days. Until November 30th of 2023. Y'all not going to keep me in the box and celebrate my birthday. I said that and now I'm going to go back and pray. I know somebody's having a fit because they're like, what? What kind of pr Mind your business. Moving right along. God, we thank you for this day. We love you. We honor you. We bless you. We adore you. We give you praise because you're good. I, th You know what I, I love most about you, Daddy? I love that you love and accept me for who I am. It goes right in line with what we've been talking about this morning. Right in line. I love who I am. I love who I have become. And I love the woman that I am becoming. I love my relationship with you and just what you're doing in my life and, and what you've already done. I can't wait to see what's next. You have been a wonder to me. You have been better to me than I have been to myself. I thank you. I thank you for my morning manna and my YouTube family. I thank you, Father God, that you have blessed them. Oh, God, I hear this for somebody. God says, put it in my hands. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it all right. But you got to trust his will. You got to trust whatever his will is in making it all right. You got to trust his will. Because somebody that's watching me right now, you're going through a really tough time. Possibly with a parent or with a spouse. It's a difficult time. You're, you're trying to be strong and you don't feel like you really have that strength that you need because you, 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 you're tired. Let's just be honest. You're tired. The fight for you is tired. Uh, uh, doing, going back and forth, you're tired. It's like you're you 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 know you want to be the strong one, but you're you're at that place now where you're saying, God, I need you to send someone to hold me up. I need you to send an Aaron or her to hold my arms up because I'm weak right now. Now that's just the truth. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna stop what I'm doing, but I'm tired. It's 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 it's, it's heavy, God. That's what you're saying. And daddy is saying to you, I got you. You're built for this. You're built for it. It doesn't feel like it, but you're built for it. You never asked for this, but you're built for it. You're the only one that can do it. I don't know who that's for, but praise God. There you go. He got, he says, I got it. Now you have to trust my will. Trust my will, trust my plan, trust it. It may not come out the way that you want it to come out, but it's going to be my best for this situation. Okay. There you go. Lord, I pray that you would let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart to be acceptable 
in your sight. Don't let me say nothing you don't want me to say. Let me speak to the hearts of your people today. Use me to speak to your people. And I pray that the words that come out of my mouth will be a confirmation. I pray that it will prick their hearts. I pray that uh, the word that you speak through me today will enlighten them, will give them revelation, will give them insight. It will help them to make better decisions as they um, walk this journey of faith. Because it's a daily walk. For some of us, it's hour by hour, minute by minute. <laughs> For somebody, it's second by second. It's a choice to be on this side. It's a choice to live for you. It's a choice that we make on a daily basis to, to honor you and to live right before. It is a choice. Hallelujah. It is a choice. Some days we feel like it, some days we don't. It is a choice. And we thank you that we choose you. We thank you that you chose us before the foundation of the world. We thank you that on today, we have a mind, we have a will, we have a heart to choose you. Amen. We thank you for that, God. So I pray on today, Holy Spirit speak. We are listening. We're listening. We're listening. I pray that our hearts will be positioned, our minds will be clear. I pray for minimized to no distractions. I pray, Father God, that those that have to go to work, they will get exactly what they need before they have to go. I pray, Father God, that those that, 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 are, that are strolling on Facebook, you will have them come and say, who is that? I know that, that there's a sound that you have given me in the earth. It, it, it's a sound that makes things move in the earth. Draw them. I pray that you'll draw them. That they'll be swiping. They'll click and they'll see me. And they'll come on and they'll get exactly what they need. And they'll know that it was God. None of me. All of you. I decrease completely so that you can increase fully in me. And I thank you in advance for what you're going to do in today's conversation in Jesus' name. Amen. What's up fam? Happy Friday to everybody. I'm so glad to see you. I want to tell you something real quick. You are amazing. No, let me tell you again. Lean your ear forward. You are amazing. Just as you are. Give yourself some grace and stop beating up on yourself. You're good. You're good. Nope, you haven't done everything right. You might have messed up yesterday. Some of you might have just messed up this morning. Oh, thank you, sister. You're amazing. When the enemy comes in your ear and starts talking that foolishness, slap him. Send him back to hell. Send him back to his place of origination. Don't sit there and let him. Never allow the enemy to speak into your life anything that contradicts what God has already said about you. Because he's coming for you. I need you to know that. When in, in this Christian walk, this now this is totally not what me and God talked about on the way coming this morning, but this is for somebody. In our Christian walk, somewhere on this journey, somebody made us feel like we would be exempt from trials. We would be exempt from going through. We would be exempt from tribulation, from pain, from heartbreak, from heartache. It's a lie. Jesus said, in this life, you're going to have problems. You're going to have some tribulation. You're going to have some stuff that you're going to have to deal with. You might have a little stress. You might have some stuff you're going to worry about. That's why he said, don't be anxious. Because he already knew you was going to be worried about some stuff. He knew you were going to be carrying some things. But let me tell you something. He always comes back with a promise. Everything he spoke is a promise. It's something that he's going to do and it's something that you need to do. When the both of you are working together and partnering together, great things happen. If he says do this and you do it, you're gonna, I'm telling you, you're going to reap a reward. This is why for many of you that are watching me this morning, you can't give up. <laughs> Baby, you can't give up right now. You can't. You, uh -huh. you don't have to be the strong one. 
He said, let your hair down. Take the wig off. Take the lashes off. Take all that off. Wear your nappy hair today. Like for real. Don't try to dress it up. Don't try to make it cute. Don't try to sugarcoat it. Don't try to act like every everything in my world is good, but on the inside, you about to burst and have a breakdown. Baby, first of all, I'm telling you, this ain't what the Lord told me we was talking about today, but this is for some... Um, let, me, let me tell you, let me just segue right here and tell you how much God loves you. Sure, she! Woo! God loves you so much that he will change the course of things for you. Somebody clicked on today and God said, no, 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 no. I need you to talk to her real quick because she's going to have to leave. Or I need you to talk to her real quick because she's troubled this morning. She needs to hear something. Somebody came on here in expectancy because I can feel the pulling. You came on here and you said, God, I need you to talk to me. I need you to speak to me. He said, okay, here it is. I need you to know that you do not have to be the person that 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 goes around and helps everybody and fixes everything. You don't have the answers for this, baby. And God said, that's right where I want you. Because when you don't have the answers, where you are weak, I am strong. He says, I am going to stand up big on the inside of you. And that thing that the enemy is trying to use to attack you, to try to come up against. I, I, I hope you do understand. I saw this. I don't know if it was last night or this morning but I saw I, I saw this when I was standing at the sink I think it was this morning because I was I was frying me an egg scrambling me an egg and I was standing at the sink and I heard God say tell them Woo! he said tell them Jacena tell them that if the warfare is intense the blessing is gonna be explosive just said, God said to tell you, if the warfare is intense, come on now, come on now, that should have made you leap, yeah, Woo! that should have, Bobby, Betzero, Shigabashi, honey, Shabba, you better pull on the anointing this morning, baby, you, cause you gonna get just what you looking for, he said, listen, I'm telling you, he said, when you come looking for me, and you come looking for me with all your heart, you ain't coming on the morning manner, you ain't coming for the heart, the heart conversations, to see what J.C. is gonna say, you know that God uses her, and you say, oh, oh God, I need you to speak to my sister today, I need you to speak through this vessel today, I need you to speak Holy Spirit, I say, love on Sunday, cause God, I, I, I need you to say something to me to confirm that you're with me. Because I'm feeling real alone right now. I'm feeling like you done left me right now. I'm feeling like you ain't nowhere near me right now. But God, I know that if you can say, if you confirm that thing, I can run on a little longer. I can run on a little farther. I can run on to see what the end going to be. But God, I need a sign. Some of you, I say, are like Gideon. Baby, I'm telling you, better come tomorrow. Some of you are like Gideon. Some of you are saying, God, I need a sign. I just need a confirmation. I just need to to know it's you. Can you just make this thing talk to me? Can you make somebody say, I don't care if you show it on a billboard. I don't care if a little child walk up to me. I don't care how you do it, but God, I need you to do it. I need you to show me a sign. I need you to show me something that you're with me. I need you to show me that you got my back. God, right now, I done had to make some decisions. Some of you got to, listen, some of you had to decrease. Huh? Some of you had to let some stuff go. Some of you had to downsize. Some of you had to flip some stuff. Some of you had to let some stuff go. Some of you had to let some people Go. And God said, I'm telling you, the warfare is intense, but the blessing is going to be explosive. Don't you worry about what people are saying about you. You are a child of the most high God. Don't you let nobody tell you that because you decided to decrease. Let me tell you something. Some of y'all been living above your means anyway. Some of y'all need to give some stuff back. Some of y'all need to take some stuff back. Some of y'all need to stay in the hands out the store. God said, some of you need to save more because the thing that I'm having you save for is going to be the thing that's going to bless you. In the next level, some of you, God says, you need to plan. You need to stop thinking about it and start planning so you can start executing. You don't need to make no more resolutions. Resolutions are done. God says, I don't need you to make a resolution. I need you to sit your behind down. I need you to come and sit with me. And I need you to ask me, God, where are you leading me in 2023? What are you doing with me in 2023? Some of you, yo, yo, your prayer need to be, God, change me. God, change me. Get up in here and change my heart. Change my mind. Change, listen, change my behavior. Change the way I act. Change the way I talk. I'm tired of talking one thing and I'm walking another. Summits. 
some of y'all, <laughs> yeah, some of y'all, baby, some of y'all, sip, sip your tea, Jane. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Some of y'all, some of y'all, <laughs> I'm telling you, you around here with the sad face talking about what you lost, what you had to give up. God, I just heard the Holy Spirit say the season that I'm taking you to, where you're going next, you can't carry a lot of dead weight. The reason some of you are so tired is because you have been carrying a lot of dead weight. You have been carrying dead weight. I'm going to tell you what the problem is. You want... I'm going to be nice this morning because I'm, I'm, I'm just in that place right now. I really don't care. But I'm going to be nice this morning. Just drop in the chat. Say, speak, Jay. That's all I need to say. Speak, Jay. You put SJ if you want to. All I need you to do is say, speak, Jay. And I'm getting ready to tell you, I need you to put your big girl panties on, your big boy boxes on. Don't get your feelings. Listen, you, you cannot wear your feelings on the sleeve today because I'm telling you, I'm coming for you today. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Right? You you mess up and put speak in that chat. I'm telling you. Be ready. It ain't it ain't me coming. It's the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost comes, he comes to correct. He comes to make every crooked place straight. Anything that's high, it's got to go low. You understand? All right, let's go. God says for half of y'all, the majority of you, it's your connections that's got you jacked up. Mm -hmm. Let me pull this in camera down because, baby, I need you to hear this this morning. I'm not here to play with you. I'm here to save and change your life. You understand me? I'm not here to play with you because I'm not afraid of you. I'm, I'm, I, this is not me coming. Y'all don't get my hair drop. This is not me coming. This ain't me talking to you. This is God talking to you. You got a problem with it? Take it up with him. As soon as I get this hair right, he trying to get y'all a minute to get your life together. Because it's coming. Them, those connections that's what some of y'all need to do before 2023 it's time to, it's time to cut it's time to cut some people out of your life it's time to walk away from some people it's time to let some people go some of y'all I'm telling you the stress that you have been experiencing the heaviness some of you is embarrassment and shame. Some of you is guilt. Some of you are around people that's making you do stuff that you know you ain't got no business doing. But you don't have enough strength to tell them no. Let me tell you something. You cannot go into 2023 with dead weight. Somebody say dead weight. You're going to have to let that crap go. Dead weight. It's got to go. I don't care who that joker is. Some of y'all. I'm going to tell you. Some of you holding on to relationships because you done known them for 10, 20 years. Baby, some people you just outgrow. You hear me? I'm not talking about your spouse. You, listen, <laughs> let me ride on over here. Let me come on over here. Your spouse, you made a covenant with your spouse. If you catching hell with your spouse, that means that you need to lay on the altar. I told you you wasn't going to like it, but I don't care nothing about you liking it. Because I'm your sister. I'm trying to get your soul together. I don't give a, I don't give a goddamn nothing about you. You don't like it. I'm telling you right now, I really, I really don't care. I don't, I don't care because you don't like it. The Holy Spirit said, if you, are, if you and your husband, you and your wife, if you all are going through something, God say, lay at the altar. Die. You need to die. But it's that's why you need to die. If you if you open up your mouth and you say, but you don't know what, but she, but he, if but is anywhere in the equation, you need to die. You need to lay your behind down at that altar and you need to die. You need to die so that Christ can live in you. See, some of y'all, I'm telling you, you out here.
I feel like an explosive <laughs> is inside of me right now. Y'all best be so glad that we ain't in no, like we not together. Because baby, I would be running around. You have told too many people. This is for somebody very specific. You have been telling too many people about your problem. You have been talking about your problem so much that you are eating the fruit of that which you have spoken. Some of us need to shut our mouth. Shut your mouth up. Shut your mouth up and stop talking about the problem. This is what I, you know, rehearse that. Thing. You know what God says? You're nursing it. You're breastfeeding these problems. God doggone it. Just take your whole hair down. <laughs> God said you are breastfeeding these problems. You don't want to be yelled at? Click off. I ain't got time to be worried about it today. You breastfeeding these problems. You nursing them. Because you talking to everybody about it. It's got you so worked up. Some of y'all blood pressure worked up. You're overweight. You're underweight. You eating all kind of crap. You, your body is craving. If your body is craving sweets all the time, it doesn't want anything healthy. You don't want to drink no water. That's a tall tale sign. You got something going on. Your body is out of alignment. Your spirit is off track. I can't keep yelling. It's eight o'clock. People are here at work. <laughs> Stop nursing these problems and stop running to people that don't care nothing about your sin baby all that some of y'all are connect i'm telling you some of y'all connect to some people they don't care nothing about your problem as a matter of fact i'm gonna tell you what the lord just said yes holy spirit god said some of you have went to your family your friends and all these young people that you keep running to and you keep telling your problem to them and this is what this is what happens you tell them what's going on with you and this particular person right and this does not have to be just romantic this could be platonic this could be a friendship this could be something work related this could be whatever right god says you keep going and you keep talking to people about it. And what happens is, this is what God is going to God says, I'm going to I'm gonna restore it. I'm going to bless it. I'm going to heal it. I'm going to make it all right. Whether you and that person connect or not, God says, I'm going to make things right. Right? He said, but this is what's going to happen. When you're not connected with the right people, or when you start going around and you start telling your business to people that God ain't never directed you to tell your business to, because some of y'all go to visit and God said there are certain people you can't vent to you need to stop that doggone venting you vent to me if you got to vent write it you got to vent turn on a voice recorder and put it out there if you need to vent ask me who can I go to that's a safe place that can handle what I'm getting ready to say because I'm telling you what's going to happen you're going to vent you're going to say this is what's going on because you're in your feelings about it today you're having a hard time with it today you're overwhelmed with it today you're not feeling it today you pissed off today right and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to this individual and once God heals you once God heals that situation restores it blesses it does what he's gonna do with it now they looking silly because you done went back to the thing that you came to them vetting about this is why you need to shut your mouth up this is for some of you. This is for some of you. Because some of y'all, God is saying, I stirred the waters for y'all to disconnect. Because you ain't never had no business connecting with them in the first place. That's for some of y'all. But for the others of you, and you know exactly who I'm talking to. For the others of you, this is what God is saying to you. I This is, this is just, it's a moment. It's temporary. <laughs> yes sir this spiritual warfare has come to strengthen you some of you are being attacked in the places that you minister some of you let me talk to you today some of you are being attacked in the area in which you minister this is why you know that's your tall tale sign that you cannot give up if you have been professing something, if you have been confessing something, if you have been praying about something, and that thing is being attacked, wake your behind up and realize that the enemy is coming for the world, baby. He, it ain't really about you. He's coming for the world because he knows that if you stand on that word, it's going to come to pass.
yes, you got to, woo, God today, woo, you got to help me today, you're going to have to help me calm down today, you're going to have to help me calm down today, this is too much, this is too much, When I say we're going to break loose up in that church tomorrow. <laughs> Everybody you talking to ain't got your best interest at heart. You understand me? This is why we have to pray. God will direct you to the person that you need to go to. Because we're human. And there are times where we need a person in the flesh to, to say some things to us. It's, it's, it's a fact. He understands that. That's why he will send people to give you a confirmation. He'll, he'll send me. I don't know nothing about your situation. And I'm on here telling you all about it. You think I'm up in your business. I ain't up in your business. God is. My mama would say this all the time. Don't come to me if you got no problems in your marriage. Don't come over here and don't tell me about them. I don't want to know nothing about them. And I was like, what? What kind of mother is that? Don't come home. You can't come home unless they abuse you. Can't come home. Work it out. Don't call me and don't be calling your sisters. And I was like, who says that? The saints would say, You'll understand it better by and by. That means keep on living. You'll soon understand what the saints were saying. What my mama was saying, and she still says, be very careful who you go and share your heart with. Everybody cannot handle what's in you. Oh, I need to say this to somebody. Everybody can't even handle what's on you. Some of you, you're not friend hungry, right? You're not that person that's out here, I, I need a friend, I need a friend. That's not you. But where you are is you're at a place where you're saying, God, I need some real authentic connections. I need some people in my life that's going to keep it real with me, that's going to be real, that's going to let me be real, and that's going to accept me for who I am, that's going to be there for me, right? What, you, what you're asking God for in this season is, God, can you please reciprocate what I have just been given and give? Listen, some of you are. I say, baby, some of you have been pouring out. You just pour, 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 pour. You, I mean, you just give, give, give. You always giving. Now, you might not have a million dollars to give away, but baby, you give your time. You give your effort. You, you give something. There is something, say, come on, God, that you give in abundance, and you give it effortlessly. You don't ask for nothing in return. You Listen, I know this, God, because my hair all over the place, and I ain't even concerned about it. Come on. Let me tell you something. You give, and you give, and you give, right? You give. Give out of your reserve if you have to. And you really ain't looking for nothing in return because you're not that person. And all you want, baby, all you want in this season is for that thing to be reciprocated. I'm telling you, you have got to... In 2022, you cannot wait to 2023 to cut them off because what you have done is you have connected yourself to leeches. You have connected yourself to people that are takers. The reason why you're tired, the reason why you're weary, the reason why you're worn out, the reason that you can't fight these spiritual battles the way that you have been designed to fight them is because you have been connected to people that's connected to you for the wrong reason. Maybe all they do is want to take, take, take. Take, take, take. They just want stuff from you. And then, now you feel in some type of way because you done just gave and gave and gave. Some of you is your children. Let me just tell you. Let me just, I'm telling you, I'm coming for you. Some of you is your children. Some of you need to stop doing these things that you do for your children and you need to let them suffer a little bit. You need to let them work a little bit. You need to let them cry a little bit. You need to let them get it between a rock and a hard place. You need to let them lay in their bed, that bed that they made. You need to let them lay in it. You ain't no bad mother. Because they got to reap what they sow. That's the word of God. What's wrong with you? Stop running and snatch them up out of, out of the plan that God has already predestined for their life. Some of them have got to go through and to grow. They got to go through it. You always running to save them. This is why they won't grow up. Need to buy? He just won't grow up. Hell, get out of the way. If you get out of the way, get your butt out. 
stepped away. Some of you is your man, your little friend. Y'all ain't even married. And you still over there. You, you cannot be his God. God. Sick of this mess now. You cannot be their God. Either they and stop settling and 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 and, and <coughs> drink sipping stuff, child. <laughs> You carry what you carry. Oh, please hear me. Please hear the Holy Ghost. What you carry is too weighty. You can't help who you attract, but you can help who you connect with. Now, that's a whole doggone word right now. I'm going to say it again for somebody that just got distracted. I say it. You cannot help who you attract. It's the light. Bugs are attracted to the light. <laughs> you can't you can't help you can't help who you attract, but you sure got doggone can you 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 can help who you connect to. God is speaking loud and clear on December the second, twenty twenty two, at eight oh nine a.m. God is saying to you, it's your connections. Check your connections. Check your connections. Who are the leeches? Who are the leeches that you are connected to? Who's sucking, who, who's sucking your strength? Who you spend time on the phone with? <clears throat> mm -hmm, I'm coming. Who you spend the time on the phone with? Who's get? Who is getting the most of you? Whoever gets the most of you, they get the best of you. Some of you be giving your best to the people on the outside. So when it comes to those on the inside, you don't have nothing left. You better straighten that today. You better straighten that today. Your priorities are out of order. This is why. This is why God said about 20 minutes ago, if you got a problem, especially those of you that are married, if you got a problem in your marriage, you need to die. You need to lay on the altar and die. You need to be stripped. You need He has got to mold you all over again. You know how the potter had the clay? And it looks like, okay, I got it. And then it, that's where you at right now. He said, uh-uh, 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 uh -uh. got to start over. All I need you to remember, and I need you to write this down, the warfare is intense, but the blessing is going to be explosive. That's all I need you to write down. The warfare is intense. It is a fact. It ain't no, don't speak that over to my life. No, 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 no. I'm sick of Christians with that crap. I'm sick of y'all church people. Let me, thank you, Lord. I'm sick of church people. I don't speak that. Baby, some of this stuff, this is why some of y'all can't be helped. Some of you can't be helped because you want to play church. That's your problem. I'm, I'm getting ready to go. I'm going to go check out early today. Put me some chapstick on the side. <laughs> Y'all want to play church. That's why you getting your behind toe up. <laughs> you getting your wrong toe up because you out here playing church. Baby, you can't play church with the enemy because the enemy know the word. Just listen, some of y'all for some some of y'all, the enemy know the word better than you do. He already knows that if you believe what God said, like you for real, for real, believe what God said, and you mess up and start partnering with God, you mess up and start doing what God tells you to do when it makes you uncomfortable, when you have to let people go. Listen, I don't care who these people are in your life. If you know that there are people in your life that you are connected to right now that God has told you, you know he's told you because you got a hard time disconnecting from them. Listen, and stop getting mad because people leave your life. Listen, everybody can't stay. 
Everybody can't stay. Some people come for a reason. Some people come for a lesson. Some people come to be a blessing. And then there are very few that stay around for a lifetime. If them people walk away, that means their season in your life is up. Stop running behind these people trying to get people to stay in your life that God is clear to say, time up, listen. Listen, what you need to be saying is when they leave, did I learn what I was supposed to learn? Did I do what I was supposed to do? You around here running after people. Stop running your mouth. Stop running your mouth about this in problem. This in warfare you're going through, stop running your mouth about it. That's your, that's your, you want to write some notes down? That's the first thing you need to write down. Shut your mouth. Stop it. The enemy loves it. Because he knows all you're doing is making it bigger and bigger. Some of you, this thing is so big, this is all you see. All you see. It's got you where you are tormented on the inside. Your house is not a place of peace anymore. Your house, it's, it's, just, it's just hell in there. Hell in the house, hell out the house, hell, hell, hell. Well, you need to tell hell to go to hell. Do you know Jesus died? He went down to hell and got the keys. And you walking around in hell. What is wrong? I, I'm trying to figure out. You forgot who you was. Do you, did you forget who you are? Did you forget who your father is? Did you forget? <laughs> I'm telling you what it is. You done spoke it. Let's keep speaking it. Okay for you to vent. Job vented. Let me tell you something. Thank you, God. I don't know how you just bought Job up. Let me tell you about Job. Job was hurt because of the things that was going on. But I'm gonna tell you something we can learn about Job. That wife, that was the only one that he had left that was connected to him. This is why your connections are extremely important, especially when you are in a when you are in spiritual warfare, when you are going through something you cannot afford to be connected to just know anybody. You better hear me. You cannot afford to be connected to just know anybody when you are going through. You got to make sure that you are connected to the right people and it don't have to be a whole bunch of them, baby. Sometimes it might be one or two. But God has already strengthened and prepared them to be able to carry you through, to walk you through this season. Yes, that's why you can't be going around just telling any and everybody. And, thank you, Daddy, the Holy Spirit just said, and on the other hand, you can't just sit there by yourself. Some of y'all just, I don't say that. I don't, I don't need nobody. I'm just, you a lie. The Bible says iron sharpens eyes. Two are better than one. How are you go how are you gonna come up out of that hole by yourself? You ain't the enemy, baby. The enemy I'm telling you, I'm telling you, somebody that's watching me, get your behind up out of that hole. You ain't depressed. You ain't depressed. You're not depressed. You going through, but you're not depressed. That's the enemy trying to make you feel like you're depressed. You know why? Because you done shut yourself up in there by yourself talking about you don't need nobody. That is a lie from the pit of hell. The enemy wants you to be in there by yourself because he know if he can get you in there by yourself, he can rope-a-dope your behind. He going to rope-a-dope your behind. He's going to tear your butt up. And that's what he been doing. He been telling it on that tail. <laughs> That's the grand people used to, them grandmas used to say, I'm gonna tattle up on that tail. He been telling, tearing that tail up. And you are like, I don't need nobody. Get out of your pride for arrogant sip your tea. These people. These people ain't <laughs> sitting over there talking about you don't need nobody. It's a lie. It's a trick and a trap. The enemy knows if he can get you over there by yourself. I'm an introvert. Baby, st don't do that. I'm so sick of that. Don't do that. Listen, I am the most, I am an ambivert. I am out in public, wide open. Just like this right here, wide open. Loving on you loud. Just having a good time and all that. But when I go home, baby, I'm quiet as a mouse. You don't even know I'm there. My neighbor, I just saw my neighbor this morning. She said, hey, girl, I said, y'all ain't seen in about a month. You ain't cook no ox tails for me for Thanksgiving. But I ain't seen you in about a month. She said, I know. You go in. You come out and go in. Yep. 
But I got enough sense to know when I am in and when I'm going through something, I got enough sense to know that I got to pray first. Then I ask God, who can I go to? Who, 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 who is it that you have placed in the earth that's a safe place for me? I know you are my source. I know that you're the one that's going to bring me out of it. But I also know that you know that I'm human and you will have somebody that I could go to that will be able to hear my heart. They won't hear. Nah, 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 nah. They'll hear, I'm hurting and I need you to pray. They'll know exactly what to do. Let me tell you something. If you call somebody, this is how you're going to know. You're going to give your sign. This is one of your signs. When you call somebody and they jump in the conversation with you, yeah, no, they're not the one. They're they not it. They ain't it. If they, if you, if you go and you're venting about somebody and you're saying some things that are not positive because you and your feelings or you having a moment or whatever you got going on, right? Or you could just be talking about, you know, maybe you, you know, you're helping someone and it's, and it's starting to take a toll on you or, you know, maybe you're just having a, a, a tough day and you, and if they jump on and say, yeah, girl, my husband getting on my nerves too, I'm so sick of, wrong friend, wrong, bye bye. Cut they behind quick. My camera don't jack up like that. Cut them. Mm -mm. They got to go. You start talking and then they come and agree. See, that's what Joe friends did. They went to agreeing with, yeah, yeah, this is terrible right here. God just done took everything from you and you sick. I mean, who, what, who would do that? Joe's wife. The closest thing to him before them friends came. Joe wife turned to him and said, you might as well just curse God and die. You, you just might as well curse him and die. This is just horrible. I could hear one of them nagging women. I could hear just running that mouth. Don't be Joe's wife to your husband. Oh, God. Did you hear that? Oh, my God. Did you hear that? God just said some of you are Job's wife to your husband. What are you saying to your husband that's, that, that is signifying you kill yourself? You ain't no good. You, you get on my nerves. Y'all better watch, baby, y'all better watch your mouth. Because God just said you're going to eat the fruit. You're going to eat the fruit of what you speak. You want you know, to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something about somebody that I love dearly. I ain't going to say a person. I'm not going to try to disclose too much about them. But this person I look up to so much because this person has been going through some stuff. But this individual is always posting um, encouraging words. This person posts. It's really for this person's healing. The things that this person posts. While they're going through. They're speaking the word. And they're encouraging other people. And you think God going to let them go down? You better keep posting. The enemy don't like it. That's why you're catching this fire. You better keep posting. Because these posts. They are your hallelujah. These posts are your God, I'll bless you. These posts, they, baby, they're not just speaking to other people, but they're healing you. They're healing you as you type. They are healing you, and they're healing your situation. You better receive that, by the way. Let me get back to the little Job wife. Little lady, sis, you better get yourself together. Job's wife told him, you need to just curse God and die. Really? Then his friends came. They, yeah, man, this is horrible. It wasn't until Job got by himself. When he, when he got over there and got by himself, he came to himself and he was able to say, you know what? God, Job had to come to God. I mean, Job said, basically in a nutshell, <clears throat> in that latter part of, Chapter the chapter twenties, 
Job started saying, you know what? I done heard other people talk about you. I done heard about what other people have experienced. I done heard about my mama, my daddy, everybody, and their experiences with you. But God, there, there comes a time in your life where you have to experience you, God. All by yourself. All for yourself. Because God wouldn't talk to you. Was you here when I created the world? God started asking you, while you sitting over here pouting and carrying on and acting a fool, can you breathe on your own? Like, do you realize who I am? God had to check Job. Because he got over there and letting them people get in his ear. When God got through with him, Job's response was, you know what, God? You've been good to me. I done messed up over here, running my mouth, getting caught up. What have you gotten caught up with running your mouth? Running, I'm so sick of this job. Do you have a job? Does it take care of your bills? How about instead of you running your mouth about the job, how about saying this, God give me the strength to make it through this day. Help me to be a light in my workplace. God give me wisdom to do my job in an excellent manner. Like change what you're saying. Change what you're saying. If we start changing what we're saying, things will start looking a whole lot differently. Because this is one of two things going to happen. God's going to change your perspective about where you are. Or he's going to change the situation that you're currently in or both. But if you got that, your connections, I can't say it enough, your connections are vital. Ladies and gentlemen, my sisters and my brothers, you ain't got time to be playing around with these connections. Your connections are going to draw you to Christ or away from him. Ask God. Go to God first and tell him about what's going on. Sometimes you won't even have to ask him. He'll send people that'll begin to minister to you. They'll begin to talk to you. They'll begin to locate you where you are. You want to know how you know you got the right people in your life? Is when they when you start telling them what's going on, they start praying. They start encouraging. They start lifting you up. If they do anything other than that, if they come in agreement with you, yeah, child, you need to let him go. You need to let your husband go. You made a covenant. If there has been no fidelity, you made a covenant. Even if there has been fidelity, God can restore it. I know you don't want to hear that because I wouldn't want to hear it. <laughs> so tell you the truth. Now, you can go head on now. <laughs> you ain't no marriage counselor. But he is. You're going to have to make a choice. Who are you going to be connected to in this season? Who are your connections? Because they are either an asset or a liability. They are either blessing you. They are either, uh, if, if they are not reciprocating, if they're doing more taking than giving, they're always negative. They don't have nothing good to say. Complaining, murmuring. Wrong connections. You don't need a whole lot of people in your life in order for you to be and do what God has called you to be. Do you know your connections? They shape your character. You know how your mama used to say, you just can't be hanging out with anybody. Who they people? Nothing has changed because you're grown now. You need to watch your connections. I'm telling you, some of you need to sit down and you need to ask God, 
I need you to reveal these connections to me, God, because something... Amen? <clears throat> All right, I'm going to warm my tea up. Eat my little breakfast, my, my salmon and my avocado and tomatoes and my egg, and I'm going to get ready for these children. I hope, I hope the conversation has helped somebody today. If it's only one, I've done my, I have done what God has called me to do today. And, 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 and my heart rejoices. I want you to be well. Listen, the Bible says that he wants you to prosper in health, even as your soul prospers. That means he wants you to be well. God don't want you to just be just to be around here, you know, walking around. I'm living my blessed life. Let me tell you something. Some of y'all need to stop that crap because you is not living no blessed life. If you out here, uh, toe down, broke down on the inside, I don't care how good you look on the outside. If you toe up a hot mess on the inside, stop lying. Face it. Face it head on. Deal with these this pain. Deal with this fear. Deal with these disappointments. Deal with these frustrations. Stop running. Stop hiding. Stop ignoring. Just because you throw the shoes under the bed don't mean the shoes aren't there. Don't mean your under your bed is dirty and not clean. Stop throwing stuff in the closet and shutting the door. You got to stop it. This is this this is why so many you know what. You know, I'm going to say this, and I'm, 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 I'm serious. I'm going to click off. I was talking to Mama Joe the other day. I don't even know how I went him, but I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to go where I'm going. I was talking to Mama Joe the other day, and I said, Mama, you know why they're not, that people aren't getting married the way that they used to back in the day, like in the, you know, early 1900s, mid-1900s. You know what? Why people not get married? Two thousands, like people just said, the hell with marriage. It's so horrible. Marriage was created by God. We have Christians now. <clears throat> so I'm not talking to unbelievers, but they don't know no better. You just have to look at them and be like Jesus. But Christians, I'm talking to Christians. We're non-committal. If you ain't committed to God, you definitely ain't going to be committed to me. Come on, think about it. If you lacking in your commitment with God, you're going to be lacking in your commitment with somebody else. It's facts, people. I believe that we have gotten so accustomed to doing things the world's way. We say we don't, but we do. Just, just, look, just look at your life. We have gotten so accustomed with doing things the world's way that when God tells us his way, we shun God. Oh. That's too much. I sacrificed that. Uh-uh, because the world's way, you just get to do whatever you want. And you don't really think about the repercussions of that. You don't really even think about how how challenging, how, how much you've suffered, how much you've lost as a result. Because the enemy makes it look so good, but he doesn't tell you, oh, you're going to catch hell for this because you're going to reap this later. People are so noncommittal now. They got an excuse for everything. Well, I'm dating. Well, I'm, you know, I'm collecting data. You know, I'm just doing, I mean, just a bunch of, just a bunch of hogwash. You know why? Because people do not take commitment seriously. Marriage is a covenant. If you are covenant minded, not only will you want to get married, but you will want to stay married. Because you realize that when you come into covenant, God did that. And if God did it, God's going to make sure it's right. He's going to do whatever he needs to do to fix it. And sometimes, the fixing has got to be you. I know you want to you want to fix the other person. God is saying, stop trying to fix them and fix you. Come and lay yourself at this altar. Let me fix you. I'm telling y'all, he's reiterating that thing again. I, I am your, I, I, God, I'm feeling the blessing.
blank. Whatever you need me to be, that's who I am. But I cannot be that in your life if you do not give me room to be that. You can't let God, you know, okay, God, well, you can have my eyes, but you can't have my ears. Okay, God, you can have you can you can you can have you can have my feet, but you can't have my hand. You gotta say, God. When there is a covenant, there is commitment. And that commitment is for life. I know who I'm talking to. If you made if you if you made a covenant with God, you're gonna have to go back to God to ask him to help you keep his covenant. To keep your heart pure. Do not keep walking around like a, these fake, these fake Christians, these fake people that be walking around acting like everything okay and their whole house is falling apart. Stop doing that. All you're doing is damaging yourself. Deal with this stuff so that you can not only be healed, but you can be made whole. Amen. God, we thank you for <clears throat> this time today. I pray that this word will be sealed. I pray that the enemy will not come and pluck it out of their hearts. I pray that it will not fall on dry ground, but I pray that it is falling on good ground. I pray, Father God, that you will continue to speak to them all throughout the day, all throughout this weekend. I pray, Father God, that you would bless them. I, pr I pray that you would help us to remember that this is our week that we're giving you thanks. We're asking for less and thanking you more. I pray that we have been diligent in uh, contacting those people and telling them how much we appreciate them. If we have not, God, I pray that we will do it. We'll do it. I pray that we will be mindful of our connections. God, I pray that you will expose, reveal, or remove anyone or anything that is in our life that is not connected in purpose for our, our your will your your plan, your purpose for our life. Move them. If we can't do it, you move them. And help us to, when you move them, not to go chase after them. Help us to accept your will. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen. <laughs> I started I started the morning manner this morning with a braid to the side. To this side. Somewhere. Look at this. I tell you. Y'all and y'all and had me preach up out of my brain. That's <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Let God be glorified. All right. I love you. I sure hope I can see you tomorrow. 6.30. 6.30 tomorrow. Right here in Orlando. I'll post a flyer on my page. Come on and see your girl. Come on and see your girl. Come hang out with me. Dress comfortably. Dress comfortably. All right? Don't come with no heels on and all of that. Mm -mm. Don't come with your face beat. Come with a natural look tomorrow. Don't come with all that makeup. Your lashes. You might just need to wear your cheap ones. Don't, don't come. Well, maybe your expensive ones so they don't fall off. But listen. Get your wig tight. Come in some jeans and a cute top if you want, and some flats. Don't come tomorrow trying to be cute. This ain't that kind of this ain't that kind of service tomorrow. We come in to praise and worship tomorrow. Six thirty, right here in Orlando. I hope I see your face in the place. Hey, come on now, get in that car. Put some gas in that car and come on to see. Come on, come on to, to the O. And let's praise the Lord together. Amen. All right, I love y'all. Have a great weekend. Check those connections. You missed today's live? You really should go back and listen to it and tell me. I think, I think it's pretty good. The Holy Spirit, he, he did some talking today. He came for some of us today. But you know what? It's okay because you know what? God corrects those whom he loves. Deuces. I'm out. What's it called?
peace and soul. What the soul train people say? Anyway, Chai. <laughs> Y'all got me. I'm back. Jason is back. Jason is back. The Holy Spirit has left left the classroom. He's left the classroom. It's all your girl right now. All right. I love y'all. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday right here on the Morning Manor Heart to Heart Conversations with God as we keep it real. We hear from God. We tell you what he say. We keep it real and we bring it. Whether it's smooth like honey or hot like a fire, you're going to get it. Just the way he give it to me, I'm going to give it to you. That's it. Love, peace, and soul. Love y'all. I'll see y'all on Monday, Lord's willing. Hopefully tomorrow. All right. Bye.